hemoperitoneum is normally created by the insertion of a burrus needle through the umbilical scar. Five trockers are then inserted in the way that we utilize for left colectomies under direct visual control. The operator starts the procedure from the right side of the patient. After a routine abdominal cavity inspection, dissection starts from the inferior mesenteric vein, as we do for left hemicolectomy. The vein is divided and the mobilization of the splenic flexure is achieved by a combined approach, mostly following the mediolateral path having the pancreatic anterior verge as the main landmark. Dissection is commonly performed by using bipolar forceps and monopolar scissors. Colloepiploic dissection is extended as far as possible towards the right flexure, carefully preserving the greater momentum. Then the transverse mesocolon is dissected up to the middle colic pedicle, which is divided. The next step is the dissection and division of the inferior mesenteric artery, keeping not too close to the origin in order to avoid any nerve injury. The mobilization of the left colon is then completed. The superior rectal resection is performed with an endoscopic 45 mm linear stapler with a green cartridge. A harmonic scalpel is helpful for this phase and for the next steps of the procedure. Right mobilization is carried out by the left side approach. The hepatic flexure is completely mobilized lateromedially and the right colic pedicle, if present, is divided, carefully preserving the ilocolic pedicle.
after mobilization of the cecum, which normally does not require great efforts owing to the frequent cyclopatosis of the patients, the pfannus that incision is performed to take out and resect the colon. green anvil is then inserted in the cecum and located close to the appendicular stump. After a double layer closure of the cecal axis, a laparoscopic igniting griffin anastomosis is performed utilizing a circular 33mm stapler. procedure ends with the hydropneumatic test and the fixation of the cecum to the left side of the pelvic wall.